guys so for today's video is another first impression video but before we jump right into it I kind of want to tell you guys that I'm doing this rebranding on my channel I kind of want to change my thumbnail I kind of want to change how I titled stuff or categorize stuff so I'm going to start slowly but you will see more changes in future so yeah that's pretty much the announcement so let's jump right into the first impression so for today's first impression is going to be something that involves the eye and my eye kind of missed something something and that would be a mascara and for today's video it's going to be another mascara that has been hyped up it is going to be this l'oreal voluminous lash paradise mascara this is in the color 203 black unfortunately this mascara is not available yet on offline stores in indonesia but you can definitely see this on online stores i believe my favorite online store of all time in indonesia which is the beauty hall inno.net is selling this but they are currently out of stock but do check them out probably they already restock their uh, items but I have mine in the waterproof um, formula now before we actually start the testing I'm not going to throw any shade but this kind of reminds me of the Too Faced Better Than Specs mascara I mean the packaging kind of look the same even the color and the tube and just everything in general I don't have the full size because this is actually a bonus from a palette that I purchased but I, if I have to be completely honest with this mascara I like it I like how it makes my lashes look big and voluminous but I don't like the wand. I think the wand is just too big for my tiny lashes. I think I have the thinnest lashes ever. My length is okay, but it's just that every strand of the hair on my eyes are just so so thin. Even when I have my eyelash extension, the therapist actually told me that oh I have a very thin lashes so i couldn't go with a very dramatic um extension if that makes any sense but if you see this picture here and compare to the wand here it actually kind of looks similar so i am curious to see how it will looks like so yeah let's open this thing up oh, 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 oh. Oh. dang it i hate it when this happened so yeah this is how it looks like it actually feels really similar in terms of the packaging the material wise it's just that this comes in a lighter color so this is how the wand shape looks like if you compare the two the l'oreal one definitely more um thinner and this is more like voluminous and there's a lot of thing going on on that one on the Too Faced one now let me read all the claims from the website it is says to be a voluminous volume intense length full lash frame and feathery soft it says that the soft wavy bristle brush holds the maximum amount of formula and 200 plus bristle to catch every lash for dramatic volumizing effect it says that it will have no flaking, no smudging, no clumping, and 95% say that it will last all day. So that's a lot of claim and we will see how it will perform after I tried it on my eye. On the website, it says that it will cost you 10 USD dollar, but I'm not sure how it will cost you when they reach Indonesia. So I will have to double check on that one this is by no means is a comparison video i'm just going to compare like the overall shape the overall packaging but 
for the testing wise i am going to try this one only just because i want to see how it performs throughout the day and just because this video is not a comparison to begin with but i just couldn't help myself to compare it just so you know so yeah let's just zoom you guys into the eye area and see how this bad boy performs what i want to do is leave this um eyelashes with no um, curler but this one with a curler just because I always curl my lashes whenever I put mascara on a daily basis and I want to see how it will affect things so I'm going to curl this part of my eyelashes real quick first and yeah so let's jump right into it Oh wow, can you see how much drama it gives on my eye? So this is a comparison with mascara and without mascara. I don't know how I feel about it because actually it kind of looks like it clumps a bit on the end part of my lashes just because it is kind of wet almost and personally for me I like it when it's spread all over the place this is more on the spidery lashes vibe I think but we shall see how it will perform on the curled eyelashes because usually I like my lashes when it's curled you guys I am obsessed with this lashes the one that the curled part lashes it actually looks really really good and the one you guys it's actually not as heavy loaded as the Too Faced one and it's very easy to control and because this bristle actually looks really really short it's actually easier for me to grab every single lashes so I'm really happy with that and I am going to try this on my lower lashes and see how much drama it could give to my lashes. And if you guys notice, on this side of the eye, I actually not using the zigzag kind of motion. Instead, I leave the one here and blink, and then kind of like turn it upwards that way it will curl your lashes even better so that's one of the tricks that I usually do let's talk in a more comfortable distance I guess not so zoomed in so this is how my eyes looks like you can really see the lashes drama there and I really happy with that if this lashes stays to look like this even at the end of the day then this could be one of the best mascara out there and actually i kind of really like the formula it kind of starts really wet but as you build the lashes it kind of really stays and it dries in a minute so you won't have problem when you blink your eyes and you leave traces of lashes i had that problem all the time and i don't know if this just happens to me but every time I put my mascara I always sneeze after so it's kind of annoying because you have to clean afterwards it already starts to dry and it doesn't feel crunchy it feels very nice and it doesn't feel like it's very heavy on your lashes now 11-14 so yeah, so far so good. I am very pleased with the mascara, how it performs. And yeah, I'll check back with you at the next check-in. It is now 3.35. I can't be bothered with my hair today just because I did some house chores. And speaking of course, I was so into it that the dust 
seems to fly to my eyes and it becomes so so itchy and my eyes start to water and fortunately I use this waterproof mascara and the mascara doesn't smudge anywhere so that's a very good thing as you can see it still looks all nice all cute and for me personally i don't wear false lashes on daily basis just because one i can't be bothered putting on lash glue and eyelashes on my eyes i think it looks good and pretty but it's just not my kind of style to have the effort to put it every single day so i always tend to go for more natural kind of eye lashes look and usually i am pretty happy with my tiny thin lashes but this however really adds the drama that i need i think this is enough for everyday look i think it is dramatic but natural at the same time i don't know how that could meet but that is exactly what this mascara gives although i must say i really like the side where i curl my lashes just because it adds this very nice curl and makes my lashes looks a little bit more now as you can see there's not so much difference between two eyes but this side it just feels like it doesn't have any curl it's just a uh, straight eyelashes but i really do like how it looks on my eyes look at that it's been a while since i have a great lashes day like this so far i am super happy with this it gives me one of the best eyelashes experience so if this stays until the end of the day i would totally recommend this and totally approve this and probably use this every single day of my life so yeah i'll check back with you at the end of the day it is now 8 27 i know it's not so so late but it's been around nine hours since i do my first check-in and i can totally say what i think about this mascara because i actually already had my thoughts about it in the middle of the day so if you have been watching this video truly you will know that i am obsessed with this i think this is one of the best mascara that i've tried so far this is just so phenomenal it gives the drama that i want it lengthens my lashes it gives the volume and it gives life to my very thin lashes so i'm really happy with this and i just couldn't recommend you guys enough i mean look at that it stays volumized it doesn't smudge it looks pretty and you can really see the drama come on and i really like this waterproof formula usually with waterproof mascara i tend to feel like it kind of feel crispy and crunchy on my lashes but so far it feels so great it feels so light on the lashes and i think i had one of the best mascara days in a while so yeah love 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 so yeah that is it guys for today's video i hope you guys enjoys it as much as i do and if you haven't subscribed to this channel please please do and join my circle of friends and if you like this video give a thumbs up share the love and i'll see you guys on my next video bye